Hey, this is Nick from Pressman Auto doing a quick video walkthrough of the 2016 Toyota Sequoia. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk all the way around the vehicle, check for any dents, scratches, or other blemishes on the outside. Then I'll go inside the vehicle, we'll go over some of the features, make sure they all work properly, and then finally, um, I'll pop the hood and we can evaluate a little bit under there. So, first things first, um, I don't know, I just really like the white on this one. It's a really, really nice white color. Kind of like a creamy pearl sort of thing. I don't know what it's officially called, but I'm digging it. Um, you do have some very small wear and tear up here, which is to be expected in a 2016. But overall, so far, very, very good repair. Whew. All right. Oh, nope, never mind. That's coming off. All right. Never mind. That just needs a good wash. That's good to hear. You're gonna have your running boards down here, which are always nice on these bigger SUVs. Your tires have loads of life in them, so that is awesome as well. Wow. Lost focus there for a second, <laughs> but there we go. All right, so as far as the outside goes, it's looking really, really good. Um, again, the pearl is beautiful, which is wonderful, but I'm not really seeing much of hardly any dent scratches. Um, I didn't, I, if I saw anything, I would have stopped and zoomed in on it, but I really didn't see anything at all. So that's great. Let's go inside and turn it on. All right, so what I'm gonna do is when I turn on the vehicle, I'm gonna leave the camera up here. So if there are any warning lights that pop up, you'll be the first to know. Do, 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 do. All right. Gotcha, so it's looking pretty good. I got my seatbelt light on, because I'm not wearing my seatbelt. And I got this one over here, which I believe, sorry. There we go, which I believe is just for tire pressure. Um, other than that, let's cycle through everything real quick. Figure out how to do that. Oh, there we go. It's just down there. Trip A, trip B, odometer. Gotcha. I think that's pretty much everything this one has to offer. Let's just go over some of the features real quick, make sure everything works properly. First of all, you're going to have your sunroof up here, which is just... Okay, I'm a little bit biased because it's just my favorite, but I freaking love sunroofs. They're so fun. One of my friend's car had them growing up, and it was just... Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but in my mind, only rich people have sunroofs because... They're just, I don't know, I never had them growing up. So you're also gonna have your DVD player back here, which is actually a pretty big size one, which is nice. Um, we'll make sure the audio's working properly. Name Houston, anyway, she... There we go. It's good, windows roll down. No surprises. There we go, windows roll down. No surprises, perfect, perfect. All right, so your other features, you're gonna be able to have presets on your seat. Um, speaking of, the leather interior in here looks really, really nice. It's a, I like this shade a lot, especially with the white on the outside, the pearl white with the um, tan interior. They just go together really well. So it's all looking pretty good. There's a little bit of wear and tear. Oops. Which again, come on, focus in, dude. There we go. Which again, for 2016, it's not really nothing crazy. Um, overall, still very good. And then I'll give you a visual of, of my seat after I stop sitting in it. So let's turn that off and pop the hood. So let's be honest, that's probably the most important part. I want to make sure the engine's doing good. All right. 
And then here is the front seat. So again, nothing too crazy. So let's go check out the engine bay real quick. Alright, there we go. So I don't know how mechanically savvy you are or aren't, but in either case, you should always look under the hood of any vehicle you're looking to buy. The reason being, even if you don't know enough from a bolt, you do know what neglect looks like. So if all the metal pieces in here are all covered in rust, um, if there's acid buildup all around the battery, then you should probably ask some more questions. I mean, you never know, maybe it's okay. Maybe it's still a good buy, but you should at least be digging a little bit deeper. Um, that being said, in this case, this actually looks really, really good. I'm not seeing rust on anything at all, let alone a buildup. Um, batteries in good repair. Um, I'm not even really seeing dust on anything. So this is what you want to see when you pop an engine bay. Um, fluids are topped off, so good stuff for you. Anyway, if you have any other questions or is there anything more specific that you do want to see, I'd be more than happy to show you. But for now, this is your Sequoia.